Okay, I'm done. <laughs>Welcome back to my channel. It's just me, Tiny Tasha, or you can call me Tasha like everyone else does. How you doing? I'm doing good, thanks for asking. So today I am going to do a hair tutorial. As you can see, my hair is a joke. Quarantine realness, people. Look at this situation. So I decided to learn and to find a way of how I can curl my hair by myself. And you're wondering, how on earth can you curl hair this short? Don't worry people, I found a way. So I went on Amazon, my good old trusty friend Amazon, where I buy literally everything I own. And I got this little guy, a teeny tiny, like really small set of hair straighteners. Now, even when I had long hair, I couldn't use uh, curling tongs or like a wand or anything. I just couldn't do it. It just didn't work. I could only curl my hair with straighteners. And so that still lies. I still can only do my hair with straighteners. And I found mini ones. So these are great because they're small enough and thin enough for me to be able to get them around my hair. And because they're so small, I can carry them around with me everywhere. They come in a cute little travel bag. They're really great. I, I love them. They're from Amazon. They were really cheap. I will tag them below. So they are called travel hair straighteners, but they're not travel hair straighteners for me. They're actually useful <laughs> every day. And then the only other product I'm going to be using on my hair is um, a care and protecting spray. So I'm going to use this new one from John Frieda. So I only use a little bit. I don't douse my hair, which you probably should do, but because my hair is so short anyway and I don't really use a lot of product in it um, when it's this long, I just sort of let it do its thing, a little bit of that won't really hurt. And then I'm just going to go on in and show you how I do it basically. It's not a really difficult tutorial to be honest guys, it's just more technique and the products I use which I thought would be really useful, so this shouldn't be very long. And the plan is to start from the back just because it's easier. So I've got this section here, and I'm going to grab my straighteners, and with the back pieces I like to curl them towards the front, so I'm going to twist that in, and then just fiddle it around a little bit, and it goes into these cute little curls, I don't know if that's just my hair that does that, but it's an absolute dream because it just does that. Because it's obviously so short, you're not going to get like a true proper curl, you're just going to get like these really cute little ringlets. And I'm just going to go just around my head and just continue that on. And I'm going to just come towards the front. I think what's great about having such short hair and doing this is that if it's a bit messy, literally no one's going to notice because it's not like a proper full curl, it's just, it's just sort of one little one. I feel like a poodle, or like from a really weird like 90s music video like this. So I keep going really low just until I run out of um, space or the hair gets dangerously short. And I just sort of go along and make it a little messy curl, which I'll show you. Just sort of curling it under and just making it a little messy because my hair is so naturally straight. It's got like no wave to it. I just like to give it a little bit of a wave just so it sort of fits in. Do you know what I mean? It's not like perfect. Because my hair's grey, I actually look like a granny. Like, I think I look a little bit like my nan. I'm gonna make this look cool though, don't worry guys, I promise. I 
Okay, so with this front bit, you can sort of do what you like, but I tend to like to have the curls coming forwards. And I like to spin it a little bit to the side and pull it down, just because then I get like a little flicky curl and it looks really cute. And then I've got like a little curl that sort of has a mind of its own at the front, which I really like. But personal preference, you know, you guys can do what you like. So it's sort of like perm vibes without actually having a perm. And you don't have to commit, which I love. I can't commit to things, that's why I have short hair. That's why I don't have long hair, because I couldn't commit to like a colour or a length or anything. And then we're just going to do the other side. So I'm going to start at the back, work my way forwards. And we're just going to do the same. Creating those cute little curls. What I probably should have mentioned before is that if you want a looser curl, like a, if you want like a not as prominent curl, you pick up larger amounts of hair um, and then it won't be as curly as this, it will be more wavy. Or if you want even curlier, then obviously you do smaller pieces and the curls are tighter. But I think that just takes a lot of patience. I'm just going to turn around and try and attempt to show you how I do the back, but the back is always so naff, so I wouldn't get excited about this bit, I might just skip it. So now I look like my nan, what I'm going to do is, I never wear my hair curly like this without a headscarf, so... This is my favourite headscarf at the moment, if you haven't seen this one before. It's on my Sheen haul, which I'll see if I can link somewhere. don't really know how it works. This YouTube stuff yet. And I'm just going to wrap that up. And double knot it. Like this. And then I'm just going to pop my heart one half of it just behind here just so it's not in the way and then just make sure all my curls are out the back and it looks really cool which it does Oof. and it just sort of gives you a little bit of summer summer you know what I mean So there we have it guys, that was just my really quick tutorial on how I do my super curly cute little curls for my completely dead straight hair. That is, it's just so nice to be able to look like I have some volume in my hair again because at the moment it's so flat and boring and overgrown and shit so I hope you guys like it. So guys, just to recap what we use, I have a comb, I used it at the beginning, but I don't really use it throughout, but comb, because it's handy, and I have them all the time, comb, my John Frieda Detox and Repair Care and Protect Spray, spray your hair with this guys, protect your little heads, 
and then my Babyliss mini straighteners. So guys, I hope that was helpful. I, ho I hope that was nice and short and came to do what it came to do. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really chuffed actually. I think this is probably the best time I've done it, you know. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed. So thanks so much for watching guys. And if you wanna see any more hair videos, um, please give this video a big thumbs up. I will link all of the things that I used in this video today in the description. I'll even link this um, headscarf, which I got from Sheen. If you have any questions or if you have any more hair ideas, please leave them down in the comments boxes below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now. The button is literally there, you've got no excuse. Thanks guys so much for coming and I'll see you soon.